Hello, Meet Man United Update, YouTube channel for followers of Red Devils Manchester United. First, of all, to be a force for our team. Please press like, press share and most importantly, press subscribe. So that you will not miss news, updates, news of our club. For this clip we will talk about news issues. The interest of the Manchester United club that in the past days from the media that there is any current let's go follow this clip. Let's look at the news first. Man United must sign Jan Sommer as Martin Dubravka is recalled by Newcastle. Manchester United must consider signing Borussia Mönchengladbach goalkeeper Jan Sommer following Newcastle United's decision to recall Martin Dubravka from his season-long loan. The Slovakian signed for the Red Devils towards the end of the summer transfer window. As part of the loan agreement, the Magpies had the option to recall him at the turn of the year. The clause has been exercised as soon as the January transfer window opened and United now need to find a quality backup keeper to support David De Gea in the second half of the season. Tom Heaton has not been in the manager's plans since the start of the campaign and in our view, the club must attempt to land Summer, who reportedly has the dream of playing for United. The 33-year-old has entered the final six months of Munch and Gladbach deal and he has no plans to renew. He could be available for a knockdown price of around £5 million this month. United are said to have already inquired over his availability in December and it appears a no-brainer decision to sign him as he has vast experience and would suit Ten Hag's system. The Swiss has fared better than De Gea when it comes to distributing from the back as well as long balls. He has averaged 45 accurate passes per league game this season with 7 long balls. In comparison, De Gea has made 18 passes per outing with 5 long balls. On current form, De Gea is unlikely to be displaced from the number one role but Summer would be a far better competitor than Dubravka, who made high-profile errors against Burnley. We covered an opinion why Dubravka's deal should be terminated to sign Summer. Newcastle have now done United a favour by doing so themselves. They are currently a top four rival. United need to be fast in their pursuit of Summer, considering Bayern Munich also want to land his services with Manuel Neuer ruled out for the rest of the season with a leg break. Go to next news. Eric Ten Hag eyeing shock move to bring Memphis Depay back to Manchester United. Manchester United are eyeing up a move to bring Memphis Depay back to Old Trafford in the January transfer window. That's according to a report from the Daily Mail, who claim that Eric Ten Hag will most probably have to make do with loan deals due to financial constraints. And an option for Man United is their ex-player Memphis Depay, currently of Barcelona. He stayed with Barcelona, but it seems United are about to make another attempt to bring him back to Manchester. Ten Hag clearly needs someone who can operate as an orthodox number 9. And whilst Depay can play anywhere across the front line, he is at his best when playing through the middle. The former United ace is an enigmatic, precocious talent and on his day, he is unplayable. Dubai is incredibly strong and would be ideally suited to leading the line on his own for United. Dubai bagged 13 goals and 2 assists in 38 games for Barca last season. The 86-capped Holland international possesses exceptional technical ability and has a penchant for the extraordinary. He joined United from PSV Eindhoven in 2015 for around £31 million. He really struggled at Old Trafford, bagging just 7 goals and 6 assists in 53 games, before being moved on to Lyon. He's a completely different player now, a more mature and well-rounded one. Depay would be a solid addition for United this month, whether on loan or for a nominal fee, with Barcelona very keen to move him on. Go to next news. Manchester United face fierce bidding war in race to sign Denzel Dumfries. Manchester United could be set for a bidding war with Bayern Munich in the race to sign Inter Milan star Denzel Dumfries in the January transfer window. 
That's according to a report from FC Inter 1908 who claim that Man United may have to pay 60 million euros to get a deal done for the 26-year-old. However, Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur also want the Netherlands international which will make Eric Ten Hag's task of signing Dumfries that little bit more difficult. Aaron Wan-Bissaka faces an uncertain future at United, and it is vital for Ten Hag to bring in more quality competition for Diogo Dalot. And it seems as though the United boss has one man in mind. The Red Devils face strong competition from Bayern for the defender. If United win the race for his signature, he'd be a superb addition to Ten Hag's ranks at Old Trafford. Described as an explosive right-back by the Chronicle, Dumfries would be a big upgrade on Juan Bissaka in our book. The Dutchman is a top-class right-back and we think he'd be an excellent addition to Ten Hag's ranks at Old Trafford. In 33 Serie A appearances for Inter last season, Dumfries bagged 5 goals and 4 assists. During those outings, he averaged one tackle per game. He is elite in our view. Dumfries is an all-action defender with energy, stamina and athleticism in abundance. He has been described as a real powerhouse by the Northern Scot. The Inter star produced the goods on the world stage for Holland in Qatar this winter. His performances for his country undoubtedly would have driven up his price. 60 million euros is an awful lot of money for United to pay for Dumfries, but he could be worth it in the long run. Go to next news. Casemiro really surprised by the qualities of Marcus Rashford. Manchester United midfielder Casemiro has said that he has been really surprised by the qualities of inform forward Marcus Rashford this season. Rashford had a difficult 2021-2022 campaign with the Red Devils where he registered only 5 goals and 2 assists from 32 games in all competitions. However, he has managed to revive his old form under manager Eric Ten Hag this term. He already has 15 goal contributions from just 22 appearances. The 25-year-old has caught the eye with a varying range of goals for United and Casemiro has been left surprised by watching him in action closely. He told ESPN, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I was really surprised with the player Rashford is. In my opinion, especially knowing the player off the pitch, I can tell you that if he's doing well, he can be one of the top five players in the world. He has an incredible way of hitting the ball, he's got strength, he's quick is very clever playing. He was one of the players that really surprised me. Of course, when you play in a different league you already know the player, but when you're in the same club every day. Rashford looked short in confidence during the second half of last season. He was squandering key chances and was poor with his decision making in the final third. He has been guilty of missing goal-scoring opportunities this season as well, but the frequency has definitely reduced as he has been more decisive in the box. In the past, the £49 million rated star had the knack of riffling shots on goal, but he is now prepared to take an extra touch or two to ensure that he can convert his chances. His winning goal against Wolverhampton Wanderers was a fine example. Rashford showed superb strength to ward off two challenges before placing his shot beyond Jose Sarr. Both Luke Shaw and Casemiro have now said that Rashford can be one of the world's best and only time will tell whether he can sustain the current form over a prolonged period. This is a summary of the latest Manchester United news from the media. What do your friends think about the past news? Feel free to comment. Finally, if friends if you like it, please press like, press share and press follow, together to encourage the team to search for information to present to the Red Devils fans. Together in the next clip for today, goodbye.